Okay, in this video, we're going to see how to use the BeatLock function of Virtual DJ. Um, what is it used for? Uh, if we are playing a slower song here, for example, right, and we want to affect the other song that we're loading, we can turn BeatLock on and it will move the pitch accordingly to wherever this one is, right? So if I move this one here, and I move it, see, it'll affect it. So that is very helpful to sync songs. Like if you have a song that's playing here at this speed, right? Let's set it to its, to its normal speed. And we're playing this song here. What we wanna do is uh, sync up the speed of this one. And since this one's already playing at its normal speed and we're gonna introduce a new song, we can bring it slower, right? Let's do it here. So that's it. Right, songs coming in, and we start to speed up. Right, and you keep them in sync. Now you can loop this song out, right? And now you let this song. Sorry, I hit the button by mistake. So you just let that song play at its normal speed now. That's all the that's all the beat like does. But the problem here is that if you are playing this song, you, you loaded this song and it continues to play, and now you load a new song and you forget to turn this beat lock off, it'll change the current song that's playing on the master speakers to the speed of this one. So it will just throw the sound off really badly and you don't wanna affect that so drastically at once. So let me show you what it does. So this is playing, right? and we load another song and we hit play check out the speed here See? so it can be a big problem especially if there's a big difference and people are dancing it's obviously people are listening to this song right so if people are listening to that song and you throw a song that's way different here and you start mixing it on your headphones you play see all of a sudden people look at you like what happened why did it speed up so fast all at once right it's very drastic so to avoid that kind of issues we want to make sure we turn beat lock like off and many times i've done it i forget to turn it off and i've run into that issue and i gotta quickly go back to my pitch control and reset it right which is really not something you want to do it sounds really bad so there is a way to uh, use a virtual DJ script to make sure that this gets turned off when you load a new song on the opposite deck so check it out we're gonna give access to this beat lock functions here with this button this step is not necessary but I would say you use it so that you can easily use this button or options here from a custom button here instead of coming to the screen every time so we're gonna right click hit edit and we're gonna type beat lock beat lock okay and that's it that gives uh, that button on both sides the ability to turn on that right there see on on two so now what we want is to turn it off when you load a new song for that we go into settings mapping look for on load on song load and we're gonna put this script here which says the script says it, it will ask if beat lock is turned on if it is turned on turn it off otherwise do nothing okay that's what the script is saying to do so now we put that here and we save it to to our mapping I have my own mapping here you got your factory mapping and if you hit save it'll create your own you can name it whatever so close that up and now we load a new song we hit play on here and let's say this song is playing here get me confused here there you go it turns it off so again if I turn if I have this bit lock on when I load a new song it turns it off and that's what we want make sure that we want to make sure that it 
the deck that you're loading the saw onto turns off big lag, so it won't affect the other side at all. Okay? Because if it, if it is on, right now I can go back and turn it on or use my button here and turn it on. And if I do anything with this, it'll affect the other side. We don't want that, right? So that's the that's the beauty of that uh, little script. You load a new song here and it turns off your bit lock, right? And that's all the video is about. Uh, it wasn't really about mixing. Uh, or doing a good mix I just wanted to show you how to use the function and the scripts and the custom button and that's it